Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to make this quick video because there is literally a feature in CMU 1.13.0 that kind of blew my mind when I first came across it. I didn't actually realize it was a part of this build and I didn't even realize that this kind of functionality was going to be possible. Okay, so as you can see, these are just the regular graphics packs. These are just the old graphics packs that we are used to in CMU 1.12.2 and pretty much everything we have ever used before that. You can see I'm just using a resolution graphics pack. I'm using the regular stuff like FPS++, my frame rate unlocker and all of that regular stuff. But here's where it gets really, really, really cool. These are the new format graphics packs for CMU 1.13.0 and into the future. You can see we have anti-aliasing, clarity and the resolution graphics pack. So even though these resolution packs are showing up, none of these unfortunately are currently working, but here's the absolutely amazing thing that's going to be possible in CMU now and into the future. When we come to clarity, you can come to your active preset list and on the fly, you can change between whatever presets you want to use internally inside of CMU while it's already running. Not only are you going to be able to do this with clarity presets, but you're going to be able to do this with practically every other graphics pack that's going to be available for CMU emulator itself. I really can't believe that this went under my radar when I was looking through the features, I guess because we didn't have graphics packs that were functional with 1.13.0 at the time. This kind of just flew under my radar and it I just didn't pay too much attention to it, but since Slash, one of the graphics pack creators, has ported some of these presets over, it's only now that I am realizing exactly how amazing this new graphics pack tab is in CMU 1.13.0. Let's just take a look at one of the other features. As you can see, I'm using the anti-aliasing graphics pack. That's also active. So to do this, I'm going to probably just have to move Link around. I'm going to get him a little bit closer to the screen. Okay, let's just put the camera in between here and Link. And okay, I want to actually get this tree in the background just to show you exactly how clear this is. Now, I'm not too sure how clear this is going to come out on a YouTube video, but I can tell you in person that I can see on Link's outline here and along his weapons and stuff, you might even be able to see it on the tree back here on the branches. When I turn on this FXAA graphics pack and reload shaders, and there you go, as soon as I hit reload shaders, you can already see that the anti-aliasing has been applied to the character model, and you can also see it kind of in the tree in the background. So let's just turn it off once again, and what I'm probably going to do at this stage is I'm going to zoom in the video on this tree, just so I can show you that when this gets turned on, there is a significant boost to the image quality, proving that these anti-aliasing packs and the clarity packs are now working on the fly in CMU Emulator. So yeah, I hope I didn't hype you up for absolutely nothing, but this is just such an amazing feature to me. It's it's just something I've really wanted in CMU Emulator ever since I started using it over two years ago. So yeah, absolute credit to the emulator's creators and massive credit to Slash and all of the graphics pack creators for getting these ported over into CMU 1.13 so quickly. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.